He loves me so much. If you spend a lot of time trying to get just tight enough cuts between silence on your videos when you do video editing, I'm going to show you a way you can automate that process, saving you potentially hours of time. I know at least for someone like me, I used to hate doing that. I used to dread doing it. I used to wonder, did I cut it too short? Did I have too much silence, not enough silence. The program is called Auto Editor. The developer is Wyatt Blue. It's a Python program, but I compiled it to a Windows executable so you don't need Python. I also made a few modifications to it. I also made some contributions to it in the direction of GPU encoding and Intel QuickSync encoding. If you've seen my video about Jump Cutter Ultra, it's kind of like that, but it's what much better. Jump Cutter Ultra converted everything to a JPEG. This one doesn't do that. And using GPU encoding, it it's much faster. Now, if you don't have a compatible NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU or Intel CPU to do quick sync hardware accelerated encoding, you can just use a regular CPU, it's fine. But my version automatically uses the NVIDIA GPU. Now I wanna show you a sample of what a video looks like, like that. I'm sure this segment is obviously gonna be used, obviously gonna be run through Jump Cutter, through Auto Editor, <laughs> not Jump Cutter. But I did a five minute recording. I set a timer for five minutes and I did some talking back and forth to the camera, not the whole time. And then I ran it through Auto Editor and it converted it to like two and a half minute, less than two and a half minute segment. And I do some more explaining about it. So it's coming up right now. And then I'm going to show you how to use the program. And if you have any questions or any requests or you need any help join my discord server I can I've created custom bat files for people to help do things like process all the files in the directory this program can also cut your video based on a separate track like if you're recording a game if you're doing gameplay recording and you have your gameplay audio on one track and you have your mic audio on a separate track you can tell it to cut based on the mic audio track and it will mix the two tracks afterwards or you can tell it not to if you still want to do some processing in your video editor it can also do things like cut based on motion amount it does a lot more but this is not about all the many 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 complicated cool things it can do i don't even understand or know everything it can do but this is an amazing time saving feature i think it's the best feature of the app so here's the segment and then we'll get into it five minutes and that's starting now all right so i'm going to do a five minute countdown here just to show you how auto editor works i'm not going to be talking the whole time I'm just going to be talking some of the time and you'll be able to see that this segment isn't even five minutes long. However, I do want to tell you certain things about auto editor. I like to be creative when I edit my videos and I don't like doing basic tasks like cutting out silence. If that's something you also don't want to do, spend a lot of time cutting out silence in your videos, auto editor is the app for you. Now it cuts out silence, but sometimes if there is like something in the background, like my bird is chirping in the bedroom or in the bathroom, something else happens, it won't cut that out. So you're gonna have to do some cutting still. You're just not gonna have to do any cutting of the silence. And auto editor is not supposed to be a final solution. You're not gonna have your final video edited with it. It's just kind of like a prep, except for where you're gonna wanna have silence in your video, whatever that's gonna be. It's a great tool to use. If you're familiar with my other tool, Jump Cutter Ultra, this one is much faster and it uses less hard drive space. Jump Cutter Ultra would convert every single frame into a JPEG. Auto Editor doesn't do that. It doesn't need to do that. My bird will not stop chirping and chirping. I hope this is not picking it up. Also, Auto Editor is set to use, it can use GPU encoding from NVIDIA, from AMD, or it can use Intel QuickSync. Now, my version, I converted to a Windows executable, so you can just drag and drop your file onto it, and I set it to automatically use NVIDIA GPU encoding by default. So if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you're gonna have to set a flag to change it to whatever you do have, whether it's an AMD GPU, you wanna use Intel QuickSync, or just your CPU. I have made some of my own edits to Wyatt Blue's auto editor aside from compiling it myself so you don't actually need to have python installed for example i have ffmpeg embedded into it i made it so that the temp file is in the same directory as where you're processing your video files but you can change all these flags yourself these are flags you can modify these are flags you can modify so you don't you don't have to use mine but mine is the only one that's compiled into a windows exe unless you buy his windows or mac version that's a gui for 35 bucks, which I think is a great price. I used to really love Jump Cutter Ultra. It would take a while. This program, it takes even faster. It's just so quick. Stop. All right, that's been five minutes. How long has this segment actually been though? All right, here's an example. This is the first take I did, which I'm actually not including in this video. But let's see, this first take I did it is two minutes and 17 seconds long. Drag and drop it onto AE GPU. 
and I made it so that it shows as much information as possible for many reasons. You want to know it's doing something. You want to know it's not having a problem. And this will show you if it's having a problem. You want to make sure it's doing something correctly. Now, okay, it's probably going to confuse most people. Look at this. But I'm keeping it in. And I'm not going to cut this. So it says down here in the corner, lower right hand corner, it's supposed to be done at 1234, which is soon. It's, it's an estimation. There we go, 1234. It's an estimation. This, this thing is wicked fast. And when it's done, it will play the video. There we go. So it converted it. It's 1 minute and 36 seconds now converted. The original video was 2 minutes and 17 seconds. Now, you can fine tune it. It does have like the audio threshold. You can change that amount. You can change the frame margin. You can actually change how many frames before and after. It's not just one setting. I mean, if you do one setting, it'll be the same for both for before and after, but you can change it. You can make it be different. It's extremely flexible and the comprehensive use of this application is not within the scope of this video. So that's how you use auto editor. It'll save you tons of time. I've had some really positive comments about Jump Cutter Ultra. If you use Jump Cutter Ultra, if you need a tool like this, you're going to like this even more. It's so much faster than Jump Cutter Ultra. Jump Cutter Ultra used to take so long because it would convert every single frame to a JPEG first. This doesn't do that. It doesn't need to. It's immeasurably faster than Jump Cutter Ultra. It's amazing and it's free. You don't have to use my version. If you want to just use Python, you can. This guy's always updating the app. I'll try to keep mine updated with his to some degree because the guy is always updating it kudos to him but as far as cutting out silence the way it is right now is perfect it's been perfect for a while and it can do a lot more things if you're looking for a tool like this this probably has other features that you're interested in as well I'd really encourage you to check out the features um, he does have a Windows version that has a GUI it's 35 bucks I think it's worth it it also works on Mac if you're into it something like that you want something like that you want to support him I would definitely recommend considering purchasing that again if you have any questions you need any help join my discord server ask some questions in there you can ask questions in the comments if you want me to help you out with some other feature of this or you have any questions like how do you change command line options and things like that if you're a super noob to the command line uh, just let me know it's it's anything you don't understand is kind of scary at first and once you get to understand it it's no big deal so don't be intimidated by the fact that this doesn't have a GUI if you are intimidated by it just go ahead and buy the $35 version from Wyatt Blue that will work on Windows and on Mac it's got a GUI go for it it's definitely worth it. All right, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later. You're so adorable. I should put you in more of my videos. Chirp chirp chirpy chirp. Do you want to land on the microphone? You, you kind of match. I'm going to become so popular by having you in my videos. It's really going to make my YouTube channel explode. <laughs>